Hi everyone and welcome to another Armour 3 editor tutorial. This one's in response to a question from Nick Umstead who asked, is it possible to have a plane power drop a vehicle or cargo container instead of troops? Um, I did respond and said that MGI advanced modules may do it and uh, here is the solution for you, Nick. So first you need to place a playable unit, as always. Next you need to place a support requester. Now you get those from systems down to supports and at the bottom you've got a support requester. So you grab one of those and place it down. Next you place a support provider supply drop virtual which is also in that list. Support provider supply drop virtual. You place that down. Now in MGI Advanced Modules Enhanced Modules, there we go we go to drop vehicles instead of crates just grab one of those modules and just drop it down so once we've got those we need to then put down an aircraft that you want to use for the drop and we also need to put down a Huron ammo container. Now I did try this with a few standard um, non-ammo containers as in shipping containers and it wouldn't work um, but if you use this the Huron ammo container this works fine. Now in the drop module here you've got a couple of options here. Um, enable arsenal on vehicle crate vehicle or crate, select yes, signal on vehicle or crate, select yes, and if you want a marker you can also click that. Now with syncing these together the playable unit needs to be synced to the support requester, the support requester needs to be synced to the supply drop virtual, and the container and the aircraft need to be synced to the advanced MJ advanced modules drop module which is called in the list um, where is it drop vehicles instead of crates okay now with the virtual supply drop module just for the purposes of the demonstration I'm just going to move this away down the end of the airfield because this is where the plane will spawn in to do the drop Right, and let's see how that works. So as I discussed in the video I did on the MGI Advanced Modules, um, if you sync the container or a vehicle and the aircraft to that module, they won't actually appear on the map um, because they're synced to that module and it will just use those without having them actually physically on the map. So I'll go to Supports, I'll ask for a Supply Drop here, and a C-130J Cargo. Requesting Supply Drop at the transmitted coordinates. Over. And here comes the C-130. Affirmative. Supplies en route. Out. And there's the drop. The supplies have been dropped. And the signal Out. on it is a yellow smoke flare. And there should now also be a there we go a ammo or a marker on the map for the container, and this is also a full arsenal. And because I'm running mods such as RHS and Cup mods, uh, you'll notice that in the list uh, it'll automatically pick up all of the mod items that I'm using. If you're not using any mods, it's just standard vanilla, then you'll only get the vanilla Armor Three stuff. Um, but because I've got those mods loaded, it'll just show everything. Now exactly the same thing works if we get rid of that container and we grab a vehicle instead of the container. We'll go to cars and we'll drop a Hummer. Um, actually, I'll just take the crew out of that. Okay, and then we sync the Hummer by right-clicking Connect to Sync 2, 
the drop module and the same thing, the exact same thing will happen we'll get a, a signal flare which is a smoke flare marker it'll be a full arsenal and there'll be a marker on the map for it so just the same as before instead uh, this time we'll get a vehicle drop requesting supply drop at the transmitted coordinates over and here comes the aircraft let's speed him up and here's the vehicle and it's a full arsenal just as before with a yellow, yellow signal marker and a marker on the map for where it is and uh, you're all good to go uh, Nick I hope that's uh, answered the question for you you can uh, do the same thing using scripts and triggers but why reinvent the wheel if you've got a mod that's not a very big mod uh, that does so much cool stuff and that's just one of the things you can drop containers and vehicles so if you've enjoyed this content uh, please like share and subscribe if you haven't already remember to hit the bell icon to be notified of any new videos if you have any questions please post them in the comments section below you can also visit our discord and ask questions there the link for discord is in the description thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video